So here's the thing. To all the people who want to step out of their comfort zone, like, like to all the Christians who want to step out of their comfort zone and, like, dress, like, for example, in alternative fashion or who want to dress, like, clothes, dressing clothes in the opposite sex, I'm just telling you this. Don't let nobody tell you. Don't let nobody. Don't let me. Don't let nobody. Don't let the media. Don't let society. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not a child of God for dressing a certain way. Like if you're a goth and you're a Christian at the same time, like there's nothing really wrong with that. Did not God did not create us to dress the same. God did not create us to be the same person. God did not create us to look the same. God did not create us to he created us as individuals. One thing is this, like, if you are a dude and you want to step out of your comfort zone and wear more clothes in a women's section, like, you want to wear more, you want to try on more lace, more ruffles, more roses, like, like, don't let nobody nor me, don't let your favorite preacher tell you that you're not a child of God just for wearing that, like, I get that some people I get that some people will be wearing that stuff because once they once they're uh how do I say that? Once they're they identify as gay, but at the same time clothes can't make you gay. Clothes can't make you gay. Like it's just clothes. All it takes for you to be gay is be a dude sleeping with another dude or, or marrying another dude, okay? Having, like, dating another dude, okay? That's all it takes for you to be gay. What you wear has nothing to do with it. Girl, and you want to dress in the women's section, that's not gay. All it takes, all it takes to be a lesbian is to, uh... All it takes to be a lesbian is to be a girl, sleeping with another girl, dating another girl, marrying another girl, and then, boom, you're gay. Anybody, like, let's say, for example, you started your a dude dressing in the women's section more, like, trying something different. Um, let's, let's say that. Well, if your friends are calling you gay, just educate them. Like, no, you do not have to dress a certain way in order to be gay. You do not have to, you do not have to, uh, for example, you do not have to dress a certain way to be gay. You do not have to look a certain way to be gay. All it takes to be gay is being a dude liking another dude. And then leave it at that, but let's say, for example, your friends started harassing you and bullying you for, uh, for being a guy who likes things that are, that are targeted for women or, excuse me, for liking clothes, like for, like, for dressing a certain way, for dressing more in the women's section, dressing more on like the fabulous side. Those friends are not your friends. Cut them off. If you are a goth and people start harassing you for being goth, cut them off. They started wearing clothes that have more design, more jewelry in it. And then another Christian started saying, like, doesn't that make you feel prideful or superior? Like, let me tell you something. No matter what you wear, okay, pride will never... Ex Pride will never, nothing's going to protect you from pride. No matter how basic your clothes is, you could wear something as basic as like a t-shirt and some jeans and you still going to be feeling like you the ish. The moment you, the moment you be feeling prideful is just pray, pray against it, repent to the Lord. It's just pray against it, repent to the Lord. Because no matter what, no matter what kind of clothes you wear, no matter how basic it is, 
you could wear you could wear it like all God honoring and still feel superior. There are people who be dressing basic and trendy and be feeling superior to those who don't dress basic and trendy. You can't win. You can't win. No matter what you wear, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, pride will never will never it will never protect you from pride. All it takes is a prayer for the Lord to purify, purify our hearts and 